I'm Travis Steerwalt, and you're watching Air Power Live. The aspects of the gaming unit. First here is the powder pump. What I want to approach you with today is exactly why these guns are what they are. And what each one of them does the best. Hey, this is Travis, Team Air Power, coming to you live from the Powder Lab, again, in High Point, North Carolina. I'm going to talk about two different things. These do not go together. We're going to talk about two separate things today. Uh, they both do have a lot to do with the GEMA gun. Uh, <clears throat> I spent a lot of years teaching powder coating, watching people do all kinds of things with powder, big jobs, small jobs, and I had wished years ago that this would be available. There's probably hundreds of people, maybe not hundreds yet, but there will be, watching Air Power Online that have uh, been involved in custom powder coating on a small scale, who work in manufacturing and large volume powder lines that sometimes try to fi find it hard to get um, a test part done or a lab test part done or a trial run part done with production going on. Um, Small shops, something that they have trouble with is the one-off projects, uh, the small projects of a powder they don't normally use, or having a pile of powder to the side of your storage room that you haven't used these boxes for a very long time. You're not sure if that powder is still really good or not. This right here is the answer to a lot of problems. <clears throat> this is the cup gun. Uh, they call this the Optiflex 2C, C for cup gun, and it's pretty simple. When you buy this unit, you buy the unit with one of the controllers, like you see on the lab unit or on the, uh, the box feeder, the stir unit, any of those other units, they all have the Optistar. This would come with an Optistar. <clears throat> These two airs plug into the back of that Optistar, and the Optistar controls what's going on here. This also fluidizes. So, here's how simple it is. Actually, you can take this, disconnect it, you can open it up, fill it up with whatever powder you want. This will hold anywhere from uh, 20 grams to 250 grams of powder. Fill it up, put the lid back on, and literally take it to the bottom of your GEMA gun, right in, and you're ready to shoot. Self-fluidizing, the air is coming in, fluidizing the powder in here, and you're able to shoot. Uh, there's a lot of custom coders out there that are coating uh, high performance wheels. You're coating things that you're doing very tricky stuff with. This is a way to get around a bigger, bulkier uh, setup for a regular powder booth. This is something you can get up close and personal with your project and get it done right. Next thing we're gonna talk about, has nothing to do with this one. This is a completely separate thing. This unit right here, <clears throat> I've been involved with, with a lot of my customers over the years. Uh, this unit is a small hopper. This hopper uh, basically is referred to as a three pound hopper. And it's to the Optiflex 2L unit, L4 lab unit. Uh, if you buy this as a complete kit, your Optistar would come over here and it would connect here to the bottom of this platform and you run your hoses, would connect obviously, just as if this were the 50 pound hopper. By the way, there is no hopper in between this, the three pound hopper and the 50 pound hopper. So it's one or the other. But again, if you're talking small runs, you're talking custom runs, you live in a high humidity area and for some reason, box feeder is not an option uh, for the little boxes and the hopper unit's just too big and bulky in too much time. You don't, you need that much powder. This is a great way to get high quality in a low powder run. On another note, if you are running a hopper unit, uh, let's say you're running a 50 pound hopper or multiple 50 pound hoppers, and you want to have that JIT or just-in-time availability on your line to run a quick color for somebody and you really like the results with a fluidized hopper, this can run as a satellite unit. You're literally moving 
the pump from one source to another and you're able to use that small convenient hopper to get the job done. Thank you for watching us here at Air Power Live. If you'd like to get a hold of Air Power, talk to one of our experts in the field. Call us at 800-334-1001. You can also visit us online at airpower-usa.com. We'd also like to invite you to like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.